As we've already seen, some adults have brief but uncomfortable side effects following a COVID vaccination. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us what parents should know to make the vaccine process as smooth as possible for their children. The Pfizer vaccine for teens and tweens is the same as for adults. The same two doses, three weeks apart, which have proven to be extraordinarily safe and even 100% effective in clinical trials on adolescents. But like adults, some children, it's impossible to predict which ones, will develop some unpleasant side effects, including fever, body aches, sore arm, fatigue, headache, and nausea. They're the most common. These are more common after the second shot and generally last only one to three days. Still, you might want to think about when the best time is to get the vaccine. Whatever plans you're making, whether it's exams, vacation, uh, probably not the best time to get that second dose. You don't want a child or an adolescent going into an exam the day after the second dose because they're likely to feel miserable. Pediatrician Dr. Tom Murray of Yale New Haven Children's Hospital suggests ibuprofen or Tylenol, as well as plenty of hydration, but only if side effects show up, not before. Pfizer's senior vice president for vaccine research explained on CBS this morning why it's so important for kids to get vaccinated. It importantly allows adolescents to get back to being adolescents, to being able to ga engage in sporting activities, uh, to be able to go back to school, to be able to engage in drama club or gather in groups. So it really provides an opportunity to get back to normal life. Another important reason for children to get vaccinated is that we now know that even a mild case of COVID, common in kids, can cause heart and lung damage or lead to long COVID syndrome. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. The Moderna vaccine, which is similar to Pfizer's, is also being tested in children and could add another option for children.